professional, huh? I know what you're thinking. Why did this guy go into comedy? Thank you. I used to be a male model. Model socks. You recognize me? Actually, I was recognized. I did this commercial, uh, Father Guido might have mentioned, for uh, Federal Express. I'm the guy. This is me. <laughs> Forty bucks every time I do this. I get a lobotomy and be a millionaire. It's great. <laughs> you know who I really feel sorry for is my twin sister. She's funny looking. She's a male model. My sister and I being twins were always compared and she was the best and everything. I was the worst. She was the best student, straight A's. I flunked things. I flunked algebra. Well, my whole row failed. <laughs> I loved algebra, right? Those verbal questions. Farmer Brown has three cows. Bessie, Essie, and Elsie. I want to take them on a cruise. <laughs> now, if the price of milk is 59 cents a gallon, trip cost $1,000. Takes three yards of grass for every gallon of milk. What is X equal? X equals bestiality. That's what I'm Two-part question. <laughs> I never understood UNICEF in the second grade. Halloween was last week. Remember that, UNICEF? Your two cents will feed a family of 18 for 35 years. <laughs> I'd say, great, it's no three cents. Get a place in Miami. <laughs> Here's the court. I think that trip you always wanted. <laughs> I never understood Abe Lincoln. Third grade teachers told us Abe walked to school 20 miles a day, every day. Sometimes through a foot of snow. They never told us he was late. <laughs> he was late. He was late every goddamn day. So I'm playing my sister Scrabble, right? Losing the whole way, but down my last word, triple letter, triple score. I take the lead, no vowels left. Somehow to some way she comes up with a seven letter word. Plurknip. What do you mean, plurknip? Of course she says, it's a word, go ahead, look it up. It's a word, look it up, go ahead, look it up, look it up. It's a word, look it up, go ahead, look it up. So I looked it up, it said Plarknet, word only used in Scrabble, and it was written in crayon, it said P.S. you lose again. I come from a middle class Jewish family, like you couldn't guess, went to Hebrew school, very tough Hebrew school, we had nuns. The name of the school is Our Lady of the Finkelstein. I'm hip to now, liberated guy. I'm part kosher. Part kosher, that means I don't eat pork, but I eat like a pig. I went to cool, I went to cool, I went to cool, hey, I went to cool. I went to cool, hey. I skipped school, I went to cool. I didn't need school. I was too cool for school. <laughs> so 
so cool, right? Hey, he's dapper. I went to the University of Buffalo. Hey, Buffalo. Great school, but it's like the dullest town in the world. I went to the amusement park, it only had one bumper car. <laughs> Lawrence Welk finds Buffalo dull, okay? It's... <laughs> so, uh, I was a broadcasting major in school. I figured, why not? I had a voice for announcing and looks for a radio. <laughs> I remember walking into the school radio station very first day. I got there, hundreds of future TV game show announcers and DJs walking around, you know. Hi, hi, how you doing, how you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing, how you doing? Coming at you, come on down, how you doing, how you doing, hi, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Took great courses like Johnny Olsen 101. <laughs> okay, class, repeat after me, Acapulco. <laughs> Aruba. <laughs> We'd have tests, you know, they asked me what I did on my summer vacation. I said, beautiful, Johnny, mostly sunny sky, 65 degrees. <laughs> I flew down on National Airlines, stay in the beautiful Romana Inn. <laughs> Packed my double mitts in Samson night luggage. All furnished by that Spiegel catalog company. Spiegel over 50,000, Claudia Adam, Chicago, Illinois, 606. <laughs> You smoke enough here, Carlton's, hey. I quit smoking, by the way. I'm not sure. I only smoke after sex. I haven't smoked in three years. I'm dying for a cigarette. I had sex this year. No, only kidding. Uh, I paid the guy. You know, to some people, sex is everything. To me, sex is anything. Most guys think about having sex with two girls at once. For me, it's one girl, twice. Last year, I went to the Virgin Islands. They gave me a hero's welcome. I don't get the best response in bed either. Uh, this girl, I, I had the nerve to ask her, I said, did you see God? She said, not even Reverend Ike. Then she said, I thought only amoebas do it that fast. You may have noticed I have no chin. It's affected me my whole life. I grew a beard once. I look like a guy with a beard who had no chin. Look like a fur tongue. I flung gym in high school. The teacher said, do 10 shit ups. I said, with what? Even as a kid, learning how to play the violin, I had a stick in my mouth. I inherited this from my father. He's bald and he has no chin. Looks like Mr. Potato Head. So I went to computer dating, right? They sent me with a girl who had no neck. I gave her a locket. She 
put her on her forehead. It was an embarrassing date. We were both wearing turtlenecks. We couldn't see each other.